So this is the Atlas Electronic uh, UK unmanned surface platform. It's a mission system in its own right. It has autonomy so that it can uh, do collision avoidance at sea of other users. It uh, can deliver a mission, a goal-based mission plan for either MCM, ASW or ISTAR. And I've just returned from Unmanned Warrior in Scotland, which is a large-scale exercise where lots of unmanned systems have come together. The purpose of the demonstration is to show that they don't have to work in isolation. They can work in a force structure. Our system can integrate into a larger mission system, a combat system if you like, on frigates, destroyers and other military platforms. So the real highlight for us is that uh, we've demonstrated that uh, we don't have to deliver an Atlas Electronic total system. We've integrated the Northrop Grumman AQS-24 Bravo towed sonar. That's a high-speed MCM sonar able to detect mines uh, across a whole depth range. Um, and so um, we did that over a very short period of time. The equipment arrived in the UK. Within two or three days, we fitted the equipment, tested it, taken the whole system up to Scotland, um, and now it's in operation in a, a realistic environment for mine hunting. So I don't see necessarily that uh, manned platforms have to be on the scene in a maritime battle to deliver these unmanned systems. Um, these systems can be delivered from the air. So for instance, an A400M aircraft can carry my system across a global footprint deliver it to the shore. It can be taken to the shore by uh, other military personnel, land, air. Uh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't need to be highly trained individuals. It can be put into the water. It can clear a strait of water, such as the Babel Membeb Straits of mines, allowing a logistic train to continue on its way to deliver military capability across uh, a wide range of scenarios.